Our first guest tonight is a four-time Emmy Award-winning actor you know from his work as Sheldon Cooper on The Big Bang Theory, as well as The Normal Heart and The Boys in the Band. He stars in Spoiler Alert, which is in select cities December 2nd and opens nationwide December 9th. Let's take a look. Okay, you can come out now. Ta-da! Our very first Christmas tree decorated by yours truly. Uh-huh, yes, it's, um... What? A lot of tinsel. There's tinsel on there, yes. Uh-huh, and I see a, a Smurf or two. There are some course, Smurfs. Yes, yes, and an entire solar system. With That's a, star. a pretty star. <laughs> you hate it. I don't hate it. No, you it's hate you. it. Please welcome back to the show our friend Jim Parsons, everyone. <laughs> Happy to be here. Um, before we get to this wonderful film, Thanksgiving, you and your husband are hosting his, his family. family. Yeah, how have you, you done this that? over the years? Oh, I told people. <laughs> um, yes, we've done. Okay. Yes, we've done this. Okay, yes. gotcha. Not scared. Oh, that's wonderful. No, it is. It's really wonderful. Who yeah. is in charge of um, putting the meal together? Um, well, it'll be mostly a reheating situation since we ordered from a restaurant. Oh, you so. ordered from a restaurant? Yes. Just one restaurant, yes. or do you sort of like... One. This one's only from one restaurant. Okay. Um, yeah. I, you know, I have shows. I'm working. Yes. You know. I am very, I'm very pro ordering out. I'm not yes. judging or shaming. I think that's a great place. It's such a nice way to spend the day. It's so much better to get to sit around and drink with people as opposed to slaving over a turkey. Yes. That's my feeling about and it. And there's just the risk of getting it wrong. I feel like yes. a, a turkey... You may end up ordering something anyway. Yeah, yeah. right. Because you might as well skip the line yes. and just... But then you are, it should be noted, you are, uh, uh, the tables are turning for, for Christmas, for right? For Christmas, my family is, you know a lot about my life. Yeah. Yes, my family is coming I, for Christmas. My apartment's right across from yours, so I'm, I'm watching. Binoculars I'm at work. Watching. Yes, yeah. um, yes, they'll be out for Christmas. You, uh, um, uh, you and your husband, Todd, have been together 20 years. Yes. I know, I keep dropping details. No, I don't uh, mind, I don't mind. You had an Thank anniversary. You. That's Thank a big, you. That's a big anniversary. It was, yes, it was. It was huge. And uh, may I say, kind of related to that, I was going to say this earlier, is that Jenny's um, speech, so beautifully put, and I feel like for anyone who doesn't understand the impact that some of, the, I don't know what to call it, negativity or bias that, that gets pumped out there can cause, a 49-year-old man in a 20-year relationship, out proud with a successful career, is still moved to near tears at hearing someone like that say, I see you and you're great just as you are. I, I, don't, I don't think you can ever oversell how impactful it is, those messages of negativity, and that doesn't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really go away. You just learn how to, where to put it and how to own it for yourself. So, thank you, Jenny. Well, we're very lucky to have her. Yes. <laughs> um, Sorry to sidetrack. No, no, it's... Uh, uh, I didn't I, know that was going to happen. It was just very well done. <laughs> well, uh, uh, thank you for saying that. Yes. Um, yeah, I had nothing to do with it. I um, believe that. <laughs> you, uh, uh, how did you guys meet uh, 20 years Blind ago? Blind date. Oh. Um, his boss and a, a woman I went to grad school with were very close friends, and uh, they just set it up, and they went with us, and I remember we went to a pool hall, and, uh, which I, I enjoy playing pool. He hates it. So we went from there to karaoke, which he enjoys and I hate. <laughs> and then finally he was like, I have to go. I have a friend who's having a birthday party at a gay bar across town. Do you want to come? And so we finally ditched them and we went to this gay bar for this birthday party <laughs> together. And that was where it was like, oh, we're going to do this again. <laughs> and we did. And you know what our first date alone was? Was watching Bowling for Columbine. Really? Yes. Which the I Michael never Moore found film. strange. Yeah. He still finds it. He's like, I cannot believe <laughs> that was the suggestion. Yeah. But I mean, you know. You gotta see movies. Eventually. You gotta go to a movie. Yeah. yeah. So do you, uh, is, uh, has karaoke and, and pool halls become a part of your relationship over the last 20 years? Or did they go Not in, in a good way, no. <laughs> I mean, no, we hardly ever go. I've gone to karaoke a couple of times and stomached it, but I just, you know, yeah. not I'm, my I'm, thing. I am very much uh, one of you. You're not loving karaoke. I am not, and my wife loves karaoke. Well, and, yeah. we do, look, in their defense, we have this, I don't know what your wife does necessarily, but we have a chance to perform. That is true. We don't need the time in the room with the microphone in that way. That is a very... Uh, Nice observation. I get that out of my system otherwise. Yeah. Now, I should note that back in my SNL days, sometimes the after after party would be at a karaoke bar. Oh. And that would be a time where my fellow castmates, who I had to 
can watch all week on stage. They would <laughs> sing them. They'd do it again. And so I'd there be like, were, the majority I... of the people there enjoyed doing karaoke. Yeah, we had a lot so of karaoke. Telling. Yeah, so, so telling. telling. I mean, criminal. <laughs> One would say maybe criminal. No wonder you left. <laughs> I had to. Yeah, that's why I left. <laughs> After 12 and a half years, I'd be like, I've had it. Um, <laughs> do you have a 20th anniversary? Um, do you do something grand? No, yeah. I didn't. I'll tell you, uh, well, sort of. Like, I mean, w we were in San Francisco for a special screening of Spoiler Alert and for on Monday, and Tuesday was the anniversary, so we were on an airplane, and then I came home and went immediately to the show, and then we went to bed. So that was how we celebrated. But I will say, since... Todd was the first, my husband was the first one who said we should adapt Spoiler Alert and get the rights, and we did, and we saw it through. It was kind of like a really nice present to that be That is to really nice. This is, um, this is a very, um, this is based on a wonderful book by yes. uh, Michael Asiello, yes. who is an entertainer uh, reporter that we've both been lucky enough to meet over the yes. years. He wrote this uh, very moving book about his partner who, who passed away. Yeah and his relationship with him. And this is a, how did you first come to Michael the book? asked me to host a Q and A at a Barnes and Noble for him. And he sent me the book and I it sat there for, I said, oh, of course I will, but I didn't, hadn't read it yet. And we were taking a vacation, Todd and I, and I read it and Todd watched me read it. And I just was like, <laughs> and he said, do you think it'd be a good movie? I went, I don't know. So he read it, he also on a plane somewhere where the stewardesses were like, are you okay? And he said, we should, we should option this if he'll, if he'll let us. And so at the Q&A, he went up to Michael and said, can we option it? And ball so rolling. Obviously, Michael uh, held you in some regard to ask you to do the Q&A. Yeah. But you still now are, you know, you're sort of the steward of his story. Do you feel yes. an added pressure when you play a real life person on screen? A little bit. I, I, mostly I take it as a, as a real gift because there's so much rich information that you wouldn't get from a fictional character. Yeah. And, and, and especially with a book like Michael had written, I mean, he poured so much of himself into it that he was just, it, it was very clear. Uh, the, the, the part of the pressure would have been worse, but Michael was so sane about it. He, he said a thousand times, I understand that what's being portrayed in the movie isn't identical to my life, and I don't expect it to be. Um, and I think everyone needed to hear that, though, because it's such a deep tale. It's such a, there's so much heart and, and tragedy and joy in it that, um, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to get it wrong, but you uh, let the audience know in advance what kind of movie they were seeing. You were handing out uh, sort of branded uh, <laughs> tissues. Out. I didn't personally hand them yeah. out, <laughs> um, but yes, I did see them. There's these little packs of tissue. There, there's some tears. I, I said I cried when I read it. If we <laughs> didn't make anybody cry, we wouldn't have done our jobs. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're also uh, uh, back on stage, yes. Uh, uh, doing a, a man of no importance. Yes. You you play a Dublin bus driver. Yes. That means accent work. Indeed, it does. Oh, <laughs> really? Good. I swore I wouldn't do it on TV, but here I am, <laughs> giving you my best Dublin accent I can. It's very good. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you, but no, <laughs> Seth, no. You're very polite. Oh my God, Jim! I bring Jim back. It's a completely different person. All right, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Oh, God. A completely different person. <laughs> pa Parsons. 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 Oh, whatever. That must whatever. be tricky with yes. your last name being yes. Parsons. Yes, awful. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, this is uh, very lovely as well um, and, and very sweet of you to do. Uh, everyone in the audience tonight uh, will be uh, getting vouchers to go see uh, a Spoiler Alert. Yes. And we um, really appreciate it. Oh, there's one. Again, very moving story, uh, real life, not my place to, to be critical of any part of it. I do have a very small cameo in the film. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, and what's funny is I never knew it was going to be, because I was acting to a blank TV screen. Yeah. When I first saw the cup, I was like, oh, that's brilliant. You're talking about somebody smuggling Xanax into a donut. Yes, but, yeah. but you don't stay till you show the beginning of a joke. I turn it off. You turn off the TV. I don't want to distract from the story with your good pun, or whatever punchline. <laughs> maybe it was good, maybe it was mediocre, That's but whatever. That's very kind to me to say that it was going to be a good punchline. Yes. Line. But it makes me feel better knowing that you, uh, a dear uh, friend of this show, didn't know when you were filming it that you were going to turn the TV off no. on me. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course not. <laughs> I would have picketed. <laughs> Hey, uh, it's always such a pleasure to see you. Great to be Have here. the happiest of holidays. And, you too. Thank and you. Uh, congrats on the film. You guys, that's Jim Parsons. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Open New York City, December 2nd, and nationwide.